like to be Pistol Pete? I think I'm gonna find out. Pistol Pete is a busy guy. I started my Friday by meeting him at the McKnight Center for one of his four appearances that day. My name is Michael Albright, and I am Pistol Pete number 92. When I was really young, I loved superheroes. I absolutely loved them. And when I would come to OSU football games, I would see my own superhero out there, right? I would see Pete, and I'd be like, that is a superhero. And ever since then, I just said, I, I really wanted to be Pete. Like when I was a little kid, I would dress up as Superman or Batman, and then I started dressing up as Pistol Pete. There's little pictures of me out there with the cowboy hat and the vest and holding up the gun and all sorts of stuff. And uh, as I grew up, it was just something that I wanted to do, and I stuck with it. And then when I came here, I tried out, and I was fortunate enough to be selected. Fall is one of the most hectic times for the mascot, but I'll let you in on a not-so-little secret. Two students share the role and attend hundreds of events throughout the year. My name is Parker Wilson, and I am Pistol Pete number 91. I met Parker Friday night for Pete's fourth and final appearance of the day, the men's basketball game. Shirt's not big. My dad was Pistol Pete in college as well, um, 1984 through 1986. I believe he's the 39th Pete. So my dad used to be one of the judges for Pistol Pete's. And this was, I think I was about six years old, after one of the judgings. We came downstairs, and it was just before they unveiled the Pistol Pete statue in Gallagher Iba, and it was still drying. And the artist was there at the time. She took my hand and put me up on the ledge there, right next to the Pistol Pete statue as it's drying, and put my fingerprints in the gun. So I guess you could call it destiny. <laughs> Becoming Pistol Pete may have been destiny for Parker, but like anyone else, he had to go through an intense audition process. It's not like your traditional mascot tryout. It's done by a panel of former Pistol Peets. You go to Gallagher Iba and there's usually about 20 guys that are trying out every year. They'll pick one specific person and bring them into the O-Room and it's about 40 to 45 minutes interview. They'll ask you about everything. Um, your academics, your involvement, why you want to be Pete, how you'll represent the university. If they tell you to put the head on, you, know, you could have a great interview, but if you don't look very good under the head, you know, they're not going to pick you. I tried out my freshman year, did not get it. I was probably nowhere remotely close. Uh, and so I weighed about 150 pounds. And when I went in there and I put on what was then a 45 pound head, uh, it was very difficult. I could barely carry it and I didn't know what I was doing. I looked like a fool. And so I went to a good friend of ours named Gary Calcagno. Uh, he's a strength and conditioning coach here at Oklahoma State. He set me up with one of his interns. And, you know, just about every night I would go to Gallagher, you know, after everybody was gone and I'd work out with him. He, you know, he taught me how to lift and, and how to get stronger and how to carry that stuff around. And he really specialized, tailored my training plan to be Pete. And, uh, and then next time I went in, I was ready and I aced it. It was grueling, you know, I tried out my freshman, sophomore, junior and senior year. So every year it got more intimidating, <laughs> but, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. On Saturday, I met Michael and Parker three and a half hours before kickoff for a full football game day experience. The first thing I noticed, their prime parking location. They get the same permit as head coaches, but they still have a long trek to their corners of the stadium. I'll meet Parker there and we'll kind of determine uh, who's doing what. Uh, one guy will be Pete, and then we get a ride over to uh, the Alumni Center. And they, we do the pep rally here. After that, we'll go right outside, meet up for the walk. Being a part of the walk was incredible. And today it was extra special because it ended at the unveiling of the Barry Sanders statue. That's a really big deal. I've been very fortunate to have worked with Barry Sanders before. He is such a nice, humble individual. Uh, and, and I think he's more than deserving, so I'm honored to be a part of, of that ceremony.
And then after that, we'll head back into the stadium and start uh, preparing for the pregame, where we ride out on the Gator, shoot the shotgun, and get started. How does the Pete situation work on game day? How it works is one Pistol Pete does the first quarter, another Pistol Pete does the second quarter down on the west side, third's down here, and then fourth is over there. With about two minutes left, we'll go around, um, and then I'll get dressed. He comes in, changes, meets me over there, and then we come out. So that's how that's how it works. Uh, if, you're, if anyone's ever ever wondering how Pete goes from one side to the other side without anybody seeing him, there's because there's two guys. He let you in on the magic just then. That is the secret of Pistol Pete. I've been watching you and Parker the last, you know, couple of hours that we spent together. And the Pete walk. Pete walk. Pete walk, all right, you gotta like. Mm -hmm. You really wanna kick your legs out when you're walking. And it helps a lot when you have your spurs and your shaps on so you can kick it really far out. But yeah, you generally just wanna kinda bring the knees like and kick it, kick the kick the leg out. Yeah, you're actually doing great. You could be a- Could I be Pistol Pete? You could Pete? be a day one Pistol Pete. And Absolutely. women are allowed to try out. That is correct. And they could be Pistol Pete. Absolutely. So can can employees try out or is there like a student only rule? You have to be a full-time student at Oklahoma State. Okay. So if you re-enroll, you can be bachelor's, master's, PhD. Maybe, you know, maybe you'll consider a master's degree because I think being Pistol Pete looks really fun. It's like the hand motions, is this, is this? That's Am I doing good. it right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get the you big movements. Head, the yeah. Big, yeah. The big. <laughs> Guys, I'm auditioning. When are they? April? Uh, yeah, trials are in April. Let's go. Let's yep. go. You know, maybe I'll come in five years when you're on the committee. Okay. And then it'll be like, remember, yeah. remember? And I feel like that would give me like an in. I'd get some letters of recommendation like you and okay. just hope that our new friendship gets me the job. Gets you the job? You yeah. can do Pistol Pete. Yeah. That's a really good plan. It might even work. <laughs> To be Pistol Pete, you gotta walk the walk. But there are subtle ways to tell the two mascots apart, like the different colored bandanas in their pockets and tiny details on their outfits. We have our personalized uh, uh, holster here. Yeah, so you can see he's the 92nd Pistol Pete, and he has like a little Pistol Pete here deal. He's got his initials right here. So we get to keep all of that stuff, you know, put it away for safekeeping and memories. You need to have it on the record, but who, who's the better twirler? Oh, that's gotta be me. Absolutely, that's me. <laughs> Here, let's do a twirl off. Do a twirl off. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's We're see. We're gonna have a twirl off. Oh, oh. All right, you ready? All right, you ready? Here we go. Ooh. All right. I think, I think I took it. I think I took it. I think they both did a really good job, but but Pete over here is graciously giving the crown. Oh, thank you. Two parts. Hey, I will say I'm the only Pete that hasn't dropped the gun out of one or out of out of both of us. He dropped it at a basketball game one time, broke it in half. So I, I think I have to take the cake on that Why one. Why don't you put that away to make it <laughs> safekeeping? You should put put that in your holster, Pete. Joining Pistol Pete's entourage for the weekend was an unforgettable experience. It's amazing how putting on that 35 pound head turns Michael and Parker into Stillwater celebrities. It just kind of makes you think like, man, how many phones am I in right now? I mean, I've been in thousands of pictures, hundreds of videos. I've probably taken probably 5,000 pictures if I had to guess you know, over the last two years. It's just, you know, random people, but people love it, you know? And that's what's crazy, you know? You, you, you're just a random guy walking down the road one day and then you put the head on and everyone loves you. Yeah, I think it really is just living out the childhood dream of being a superhero, right? I go into the phone booth, I become Pete, and then all of a sudden I'm a superhero. How about that? <laughs>